Make the darkest storm with or else. I'm Brian Johnson, and in this episode of Better Cocktails at Home, we're going to be making the Dark and Stormy Cocktail. Um, this comes out of the Caribbean. Nice mix of uh, ginger beer, rum, lime. Simple but tasty highball. And uh, we're going to build it right now. And I usually use about a half a lime. I mean, this cocktail does not require a specific amount of lime. So if you're using half ounce, more than a half ounce, little under half ounce, it's not... You're going to be in the ballpark and be just fine. And because we're going to be building this in the glass, I like to double strain now to get any little bits of lime out. So it just kind of helps to make the drink a little smoother, a little bit nicer, a little more professional. And then this is, I like to add a dash of Angostura bitters to my Dark and Stormies. This is not the official recipe calls for this, but I think it adds a little bit of spice to it and I like it. And when you make your own cocktails, you know what you're doing. You get to make those rules up. So that's that. And now at this point, I like to add the ice. All right. Now we're going to add our ginger beer. Now ginger beer is um, a more intense ginger ale, really. So it's spicier, got more of that ginger heat to it. I've tried quite a few of them. And I like uh, Bundensburg here. Uh, it's just, I think, tastes good, got a good flavor to it, and I just personally like it. So I'm going to use about four ounces of this. And that's that part of it. Now the next part is a dark rum. Now uh, this cocktail, well, is a subject of some intellectual property issues. And so I wouldn't want to offend anybody, which is why I've gone ahead and taken the liberties to dark this bottle out. Um, but for use a really dark rum, like a black strap style, and I do about an ounce and a half of this. And it'll float right on top. And obviously it looks dark and stormy. So I think this is a case where the cocktail really fits the, uh, the name of the cocktail, the appearance. If you want to throw your uh, spent lime shell in, you could. It's not inappropriate. And then add a straw so people can drink the cocktail. And that's how I'd serve it. You want to serve it with that float of rum on top to kind of give it the appearance. Um, I like to mix mine up before I actually drink it. But I would serve it like that to somebody and let them mix up themselves. Really good flavor. It's a lot of kind of dark molasses flavor. You really get that from a black strap. But definitely get the spice from the ginger beer, which is nice because that carbonation kind of adds a little lightness to it. So it's a it's really nice, refreshing cocktail. Um, this cocktail obviously has some uh, litigation and legal issues due to Gosling's trying to claim trademark and copyright on it. So they're very particular about it. They've actually gone after some people who write blogs, do recipes, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, it's this fun place where cock the world of cocktails and the law meet. So you don't always have that in all the cocktails, but there's a few out there that you do. But luckily we have a delicious drink called the Dark and Stormy to enjoy. And uh, that is how you make it.